Good morning from the Mayo Clinic. Today is my first day that I actually have an appointment there. We got into Minnesota two nights ago after a very crazy travel day and had to go track down our luggage yesterday because that was lost. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. But this afternoon is my first appointment with my GI this week. And so we're just kind of hanging out. We went and had breakfast down in our lobby this morning, had some coffee and we're gonna go walk around this morning. I don't have to be there. I don't have to be at the hospital till like 2.30. So it's 9.15 right now and we're just gonna kind of start the week. remember what I said this morning but so far today we just kind of went for a walk and it was nice it was like two miles we went we're staying like right downtown like right next to the Mayo Clinic and so we walked down this little river that's like a mile away walked along that and came back up and it was really nice it was a cute little walk and now we're just all kind of getting ready and we're gonna go my parents are gonna get some lunch I might get like french fries or something and then we're gonna head over to Mayo for my first appointment Here's a little outfit of the day for my appointment, and now it's time to go. I was really nervous here. Like, I don't remember this walk at all. I was so scared for this first appointment. This view from the floor is just my favorite. I want to show you this skyway between buildings. I'm headed over to x-ray right now to get an abdominal x-ray, but the appointment went pretty well. Good morning from day two at Mayo Clinic. Um, about to go and do my gastric emptying study, so fun day. I had to stop in the Mayo building for a quick COVID test before my day. As you can tell, I was not a fan of the food. It was zero out of 10, would never recommend. So, not sure. I honestly, today was long. I don't remember what I filmed and what I didn't, but I'll just give a little recap of my day. So, this morning I had to get to the hospital at 7, bright and early, and I had to get a COVID test. That was negative, so don't have COVID. Love that. And then after my COVID test, I had to go downstairs and to a different building immediately to a nuclear medicine to get a gastric emptying study. These, I hate these tests, they're horrible. But like you saw, I ate some radioactive eggs and toast, gluten-free toast, which was good, and drank some milk, and milk is, I hate milk, I hate the taste of milk, I've never liked it, I never drink milk, and that was horrible, I was like gagging the whole time, it was awful. But I did that, and then I had to stand in this little machine, I'll put a little picture of it here, and it took like a two minute picture of my stomach with the food, with the radioactive dye in it to see the food in my stomach and then they could see it they took another picture after one hour and after two hours and then after three hours i had to eat lunch which was bread and string cheese and jello um i could not eat all of that i got very sick definitely got sick and then i had to go back for another picture with the tracer to see how much of my stomach emptied that showed that my gastroparesis is worse than the last time that i was here um like my stomach has gone down and like the amount that was able to empty through my stomach 
um, and that is with the little muscle between my stomach and my small intestine not like closing it like it got a procedure so that stays open so food can flow through so even with that my stomach is not able to empty enough food and that could be some of what's causing a lot of my issues sorry ignore that i don't know if you've seen this nasty little thing on my neck but it's my port surgery still just acting up trying to heal um but yeah so that's what happened today and then after that i just didn't feel good obviously because i had to eat a bunch of food and then that never makes me feel good but anyways after that we came back to the hotel we went and got starbucks because i didn't get to drink coffee before the test and after we got starbucks we just came back to the hotel and we've just been hanging out here since because i think we're all just completely wiped out like it's only my second day at the actual clinic but we left on saturday saturday was a horrible travel day it was crazy if you haven't seen that vlog go check it out i'm about to edit it actually so it should be it'll be up before you see this horrible travel day saturday sunday we had to drive an hour to get our luggage because it was lost on the horrible travel day and it was just exhausting it's just been exhausting being here is great i'm getting great care from a really great medical team but it is exhausting and so we just kind of all took this afternoon to decompress my parents just left to go pick up dinner and yeah so that is all we have done so far today um i'll probably see you talk to you again tonight and then tomorrow morning tomorrow i actually have an endoscopy so i have to be at the hospital at 8 30 and then that is the only thing that i'm aware of that i have tomorrow Good morning from day three. It is Wednesday and it's early, but I have to get ready to go and get an endoscopy done this morning. So I'm gonna get ready and I'll talk to you guys after I'm ready. All right, the morning got a little hectic and we were running late, so I didn't film anymore. But after we walked over to the clinic, I got all checked in. I had to go back by myself. They wouldn't let my parents go back since I'm an adult. And now here's me in the room and I'll see you when I wake up. Good morning. I just woke up from the endoscopy. And I'm kind of tired. I'm just a little, just a little bit dizzy, you know. So I'm up to see. I got a good nap. I got a very good nap. Is that the screen? You want to see it? I can't see him. I guess you just don't get to see it. No early morning appointments today so we went to this cute little nature center and walked around this little pond and they had a like indoor place with animals and so we saw some turtles and snakes and it was actually really cool and really fun it was nice to do something that wasn't in the hospital to just break up the week but then I started feeling kind of crummy so we went back to the hotel good morning it's like noon so it's not even morning anymore it's just we had to move into a different room because we had to extend our stay because of just appointments i'm not in a good mood today i don't feel good my stomach hurts i have granulation tissue that's just not going away because my stupid doctor in north carolina just won't answer my messages i sent a message the first day we got here asking her to send up a prescription for granulation tissue stuff and she never answered me so it just got so much worse and i'm just really not having it right now it's i just i just want to go home Hello, it is future Lauren editing this video. First of all, wow, I was really grumpy, sorry. 
but um in all of my grumpiness and like everything that had happened i completely forgot to tell you what was going on that day so basically um all we all i really had that day was a follow-up with my doctor and to see if he wanted to order any more tests and um i'll talk more about that later but here are just some clips i got from the clinic good morning happy friday it is like seven so we're up nice and early i don't have any appointments today because i didn't need to come back for appointments which is kind of nice but now we're just kind of chilling here today because we don't leave until tomorrow but when I'm not walking around my hotel, I'll update on how everything went this week. But we got some good answers and some surprising answers, so. I'm in an elevator by myself. Um, but yeah, I just woke up and got uh, kind of dressed to go get some coffee. Um, and now I'm at the lobby. Fun day so far. All right, this clip is literally me and my family trying to take a selfie, but we just kind of went and drove close to our hotel by the airport and hung out for the rest of the day. And then we fly home tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm obviously home now. I've actually been home for a little over a week and I didn't want to film this clip while I was still there or when I got home I, um, until I heard back from my doctor about like a final plan and answers, I guess, of what we were waiting for. So, after my like appointment on Thursday with my doctor, he said, we found out, um, sorry, it's a lot. Let me just start over. So after my appointment on Thursday with my doctor, he went over all the test results for everything we did. Um, like I mentioned previously in this video, my gastroparesis has gotten worse, but it's better than it was a few months ago. After I got COVID, it really flared up and my stomach was not emptying at all. I had like like 10% stomach function, like it was really, really bad. Um, it's a little better than that. And um, take this off for a second. Um, he's starting me on, or he started me on this medication that's supposed to kind of help get my stomach to truck along a little better so that I can tolerate my tube feeds and some oral food. That's been going pretty well. I've been able to tolerate small amounts of food um, and some water, but I'm still not tolerating tube feeds. And let me tell you why. So, um, the endoscopy showed us that I have, they, as they, in their words, many ulcers in my stomach, which we were not expecting. Um, we all kind of expected that my increase in stomach issues was just gastroparesis getting worse, but no, um, the pathology report literally just said many ulcers. So... Uh, my doctor informed me that it was 37. 37 ulcers are in my stomach. Um, so that was that was really surprising to all of us. Um, no one really saw that coming. Uh, the ulcers are not around my G-tube site, which is kind of what he was checking for to make sure there wasn't any internal irritation with my tube. But um, yeah, so they found all these ulcers and he we hadn't gotten the biopsy results back because the endoscopy was the day before my appointment. Um, it just didn't go that fast. And um, he had said, once the biopsy results come back, it'll tell us kind of what our next steps are. Um, they were testing for H. pylori, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, bacteria, because I don't take any like, and uh, I don't know how to say it, but like Advil, ibuprofen, any painkillers like that, that wouldn't be the cause of my ulcer because I don't take any of that. The only thing I ever take is Tylenol occasionally when I need it. Um, so that he wanted to test for that H pylori or whatever bacteria to see if that's what was causing my ulcers um and then he unfortunately was out of town the week following my when there my last point was on a thursday he was hoping those biopsy results would be in by friday so that he could call me i didn't think they were going to and they were not um so i had to kind of wait a week while he was out of office which it, it's fine it happens um but i just got a call from him about 30 minutes ago and so my biopsy result for that H. pylori, whatever, was actually negative, which was another surprise because like what is causing all these ulcers then? So his plan of action or our plan of action right now is I got prescribed a very strong antacid that I have to take a few times a day. And in three months, I have to go back to Rochester for a repeat endoscopy to see if these ulcers are going away. If they are, then it's just like 
really strong acidity in my stomach. Um, he might run some more tests to see if there's like anything, like he said it could be a potential like cause of this or like tumors um, that secrete acid. But he said that's really, really rare. Um, that I probably don't have to worry about that. He just, it could just be something that happened, which like, why not, you know? Like it could just be something with my stomach acidity got really acidic and caused all these ulcers. So um, it's about 4.45 here and he just called that prescription over to my pharmacy by my parents' house. I don't think it'll be ready tonight, but either way, I'm just gonna go pick it up tomorrow and start taking that and see if that'll help with the pain. But oh, that being said, I'm not tolerating tube feeds well because I'm not tolerating liquids well because of how much pain my stomach is in, especially at night when I'm laying flat. Um, I read about why, I guess, and uh, people who have like one singular ulcer say that the pain is worse when they're laying flat at night just because the acid is just like sitting there on the lining of your stomach irritating the ulcers which is really gross but it makes sense and i typically run my feeds at night i guess i could try and run them during the day i probably should do that but um i'm gonna start doing that but yeah the liquid going into my stomach when i'm laying down or just liquid going into my stomach in general is quite painful because it's just kind of splashing all that acid around onto my ulcers which i know is a lovely picture that you all wanted um so yeah that's kind of where we're at i'm trying to eat very small amounts of food throughout the day because the small amounts of like solid food hurt less than the liquid food again because of the acid just mixing around in there um and yeah that's where we're at right now um so that is gonna be the end of this video i hope you all enjoyed and i'm getting like i'm filming more content like i already have a lot more content filmed it's gonna be coming out soon so please, please, please stick around for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, all that fun stuff. And also check out my TikTok and Instagram because I am a lot more active on both of those. YouTube, I'm going to be posting every Wednesday at like 10 o'clock, I think is my new thing. But I do post TikToks almost every day. I post on Instagram and Instagram stories a lot. So definitely go check those out if you want more frequent content. I'm going back to school soon. There's going to be some content with that, managing all this new illness stuff and going back to school. My, I got my ports going well, I'm doing fluids with that, and yeah, so definitely stick around, like, subscribe, comment, notifications, all the fun things, and I will see you all soon. Bye!